All right, hey, hello everybody. Today, we're gonna be showing you my complete jersey collection that I've been collecting for the past six years. It, it's gonna be a long video because it's it's pretty huge here. Go ahead and show you what you're about to see. Got them all ready, locked and loaded. But anyway, let's uh, let's hop right in. All right, so. All right, to start off with, we're gonna be showing you our hockey collection. This is probably the smallest collection I have. Uh, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get some more, but to start off, we got this stitched Atlanta Thrashers jersey with the uh, Thrashers patch on the side. It's blank on the back, but don't really want a player. All their players are trash when the Thrashers were there. Next one. This is our Predators jersey. Huge Predators fans. Autographed by, I think, P.K. Subban, Victor Arvidsson, Roman Yoshi, and Nash. Nash. Victor Arvidsson's a beast. Next, we got our Wayne Gretzky jersey. Edmonton Oilers. This one is probably one of my favorites in my whole collection. As you know, the Wayne Gretzky, the great one, says it right there. Wayne Gretzky, Edmonton Oilers, 1985 to 1986. But anyway, as I told you, that's probably our smallest collection. All right, next we're gonna be showing you probably your biggest collection. This is basketball jerseys. Got a bunch of cool basketball jerseys to show you. Starting off, as you can see on the top, we got our Jarnell Stokes Grizzlies. Never turned out to be much, but went to Tennessee and I'm from Tennessee. But anyway, Jarnell Stokes right there. Pretty cool. Next, we got our Kobe Bryant 96 Vintage Blue Lakers. Mitchell and Ness. This is probably top five in my collection. This one is like absolutely unbelievably awesome. Next, we got our LeBron James. Miami Heat, because you know, Brown was a beast with Miami. He's been a beast with every team he's been on. It's pretty cool. Just, you know, official Adidas. Next, we got a Marcus Saul autographs by Marcus Saul. Adidas jersey. Light blue. Vintage, I guess, now, because they don't wear this anymore. Pretty cool. As you can tell, I'm a big Grizzlies fan. And this one's put next one's my absolute favorite jersey I have in my collection. Vancouver Grizzlies. Hardwood Classics. Adidas. Mike Bibby jersey. Mike Bibby, a legend. Absolutely love it. Alright, next we got our, this is an honor of Rajon Rondo with the Celtics. With the, uh, the, uh, what do you call it, a four, it's a three-leaf clover. Patch right there. Next we got our Magic Johnson Lakers jersey, stitched, also one of my favorites. Hardwood Classics as well. This one's really cool. Next, we got another Lakers jersey. This is our Kobe Bryant. The second Kobe Bryant. Just Adidas basic. But it doesn't have the NBA patch, which is kind of weird. I don't know why. This is an off the... It's right here. 
I don't know if that was a thing for the season, but because I know it's authentic because I got it from the NBA store, but I don't know, it's weird. Next, we got this, this 2000 All-Star, or not All-Star, USA team, Sean Marion jersey. Sean Marion, another Tennessee native. It's pretty awesome. Next, we got our Michael Jordan. You might be asking what team this is. Probably his best team ever, Toon Squad. Yeah, that's right. We got a Michael Jordan Toon Squad jersey out here. Next, we got our Ben Simmons 76ers jersey. Can't go without having a Ben Simmons. He's an absolute beast, too. This is Fanatics. Who makes this jersey? It's pretty awesome. Next, we have this one, just absolutely unbelievable. Scotty Pippen, champion 90s jersey. And this also, what's cool about it is it's reversible. You can't really see, but it's reversible. So I could wear the red side or the black side. Black side's personally my favorite. Next, we got our Lynn Sanity jersey, one of the first jerseys I've ever got. Jeremy Lynn went on this absolute tear in like 2011. Just says Lynn Sanity on it. Thought I'd had to get that. Huge Jeremy Lin fan. Next, we got a stitched Spud Webb Atlanta Hawks jersey. But this one does not fit me. As you can see, it's like a dress. It's super long. But it's absolutely really cool. I think I got it really cheap. It's hard with the classics. It's really cool. Next, we got our Penny Hardaway from Memphis. USA Basketball, 96. Champion. It's really cool. Next, we have a Cleveland Cavaliers LeBron. You know, we got our Cleveland and Miami out here. So I think this is their practice jerseys, if I'm not mistaken. They're like practice jerseys from like 2015. First year LeBron was in Cleveland, but it's really cool. I like it. Next, we have the Greek Freak. Recently got this. Giannis Antetokounmpo jersey. Greece. Eurobank. Hellas. It's fake. It's not an authentic jersey, but I don't care. It's still really cool. I think I got it for cheap. Next, we have uh, Julia Serving Philadelphia 76 er jersey with stitched stars on the side. Hardwood Classics, Dr. J, really cool. Next, we have this. this is Carl Malone, Mailman, Utah Jazz jersey. Well, the finger just came off. Utah Jazz champion, once again. Big fan of this one. I, love, I like. Let me put the hanger back on. Sorry about this. Carl Malone. Next, we have this. This is a really mysterious jersey. I don't know where it came from. It's East Bay. Youth Large. But it's Junior NBA. It's a Bulls. It's got this weird thing on it. But I thought it was cool. I don't know where it came from. I, I, I thought it was cool. I'll include it. And then we got this one. This is just a basic Air Jordan jersey that I'd wear. I don't, I don't usually wear this. Probably my least favorite. It's not even an actual jersey, but it says Jordan on the back. It's all right. All right. Moving on. All right. So next we got our football and this is just our every other team besides the Titans. We got a whole nother pile for the Titans slash Oilers. So, yeah. So, first one we got is Mike Vrabel, Patriots. Mike Vrabel, Titans head coach. That's why I like it. Not a Patriots fan. Just going to throw that out there. 
Next, we got Odell Beckham Jr. Because, you know, he's a beast. As you can see, Beckham Jr., 13. It's pretty nice. Next, we got our Peyton Manning Colts. Went to Tennessee. But I'm not I'm not a Tennessee fan. I'm a Vanderbilt fan. But, you know, Peyton Manning, he's a cool. He's cool. All right. Next, we got Jason Witten. Also went to Tennessee. But... You know, it's still a cool jersey. I'm not a Cowboys fan, but why not? Next, we got our Walter Payton. Super cool, stitched. Chicago Bears jersey. Show you the front of it. Super cool. Next, we have our Marshawn Lynch, Seahawks jersey. I like Marshawn Lynch, I like the Seahawks. Really cool. Next, we have our Peyton Manning Balls jersey. It's not really a Peyton Manning because they didn't wear gray when he played for him, but it's still pretty cool. It doesn't say Manning on the back, but it's got that Tennessee. It's pretty cool. Next, we just got a generic Tennessee jersey, number eight. And the front says Tennessee. You just number eight. It's pretty cool. All right, moving on. Next, we got our Titans jerseys. The first one was this is Oilers, our only Oilers we have. Uh, what is it? It's 1980, Robert Brazil. Uh, throwback, Mitchell and Ness. It's pretty cool. As you can see, Brazil. Back. Next, we have our Derrick Henry, an absolute beast. Best running back in the league. Titans jersey. And then we got our Marcus Mariota, stitched. Titans jersey. Now we got our Vince Young, but nobody likes Vince Young. Might have to burn this jersey. We got a lot of Vince Youngs. This is our Mariota, rookie Mariota. Get this right when he became a rookie. Uh, we got another Vince Young, which we want to burn because Vince Young was horrible. But we'll keep all the Titans jersey. Next, we got our Chris Johnson, one of the best running backs of all time. Pretty cool. Next, we got a Steve McNair light blue jersey, which is pretty rare. They didn't make many light blue jerseys, Steve McNair. Next, we got our Eddie George, another one of the best running backs of all time. Then we got our Frank Wycheck. 89, legend. We got our white Frank Wycheck jersey. And then we got a small, little tiny jersey of Finnegan. All right, so that's our Titans. Moving on to one of our other smallest ones. We have our soccer jerseys. Uh, to start off, we got our Clint Dempsey, Seattle Sounders. Pretty cool. Then we got our Nashville FC. Or no, yeah, Nashville Soccer. Sorry, Nashville SC. Nashville Soccer Club. Jersey. Nothing on the back, just blank. Then we got this. This is a cool one. I got pretty cheap. thought it was really cool. This is our... I don't even know who this is. That's how dumb I am at soccer. But our FIFA 2019 World Cup. This is the. It's pretty cool. It's a cool patch on it. Then we got our France soccer jersey. FIFA World Cup Russia 2018. This is France on the back. And I don't really know if this is a soccer jersey or not, but it's USA, so why not? Puma. 
Looks like a soccer jersey, so we'll count it. All right, so next we're going to go to our baseball. And baseball we have, so I forget, Chris Bryant, the Cubs. As you can see, pretty cool, pinstriped. Next we got our Alex Rodriguez 2009 World Series Fall Classic. I thought this was really cool. I'm not a Yankees fan, though. Red Sox all the way. Next, we got our Nolan Ryan Rainbow Houston Astros jersey from the 80s. This one's a Mitchell Ness Cooperstown collection. Next, we got our Willie McGee Nashville Sounds jersey. Really cool. It's a patch. We got another Don Mattingly Nashville Sounds jersey. The patch as well. So it sounds. Next, we got another Natural Sounds jersey. It says Music City. I'm a Natural Sounds fan. It says uh, Nashville right there. Nothing on the back. The guitar. Pretty cool. Next, we got our Ichiro Suzuki. Seattle Mariners. I like Ichiro. Majestic. Just a stitched each jersey. Next we got our 